And welcome back, you guys, to the mix lineup extravaganza. Right over here, you can see the dead man. He's going to be helping me out today. We've got the same troops and research just about. So, first lineup, all attackers. Laurel for back row, Rebecca for back row, Glant for heavy damage, Blanche for heavy damage, Quinn Quinn for sacrificial pawn. Can't a bunch of attacks overwhelm a strong defense is the question. Would this be a viable plan? Now, granted, my skills on Blanche are not good enough. I'm pretty sure there are threes, and Rebecca's got maybe one three. And over here, they're all like two or three star ma almost max ascend and almost all max skills. So I'm definitely lost the skills. We're all level 90, T9 troops, and uh, max research, but the skills and the ascend level is the one thing I couldn't match, but the results you'll see in the end are pretty interesting, as usual. So, once you play in the season zero, you have two defenders and one support and two attackers, whatever. And then later on in like season two, you'll start changing to like one defender and four attackers, or maybe three attackers and one support. So we're going to go and like look, like what happens if you go five attackers, five defenders, and just five of whatever your max ascend is. All right, so uh, that was the max attack lineup, which is just all attackers, no defense. Next, we're going to be doing defense. We got pretty much the, the, the most like passive healing lineup you could think of, all right? We got two shields, two heals, and then Roland is just heals himself. And the goal on this, on paper, was can you survive long enough healing and recovering and shielding that you could chip away enough to damage the opponent? And the answer, unfortunately, is a big fat no. Because, as you saw with the attackers, they were able to put some damage, but they didn't last long enough. Well, these guys can last long, but they cannot do any damage. Uh, we got two blue bars on, uh, where we got uh, Bolton and uh, Mira from Elisa. Uh, uh, or I think it might be on Mira's healing skill. But they're, and Elisa's got blue bars too, so they're overhealed. You know, they got more than full health. They got shields or whatever. And we just cannot do enough damage. They're just not strong enough. Granted, my Harmon is all level one skills. Like, I never use him because he's, I don't know what he is. I think I had to, like, do a contract to get him to gold. Just gold. But, yeah. So, as you can see, the report is just terrible. I lost more troops. I killed only five before with the all attack. It was like 54 something, 51, I don't know. And so, yeah. And then the next one, some people decide to think, what if I just used all my highest ascend heroes with the best skills, which I also did right here for you. So, Lun, Quinn, and Park, pretty much all level five skills, max ascend. Rebecca's four and a three. Coleman's uh, kind of useless, no joke. I just maxed him out for his uh, destruction, not the attacks. So, can uh, blue heroes that are max ascend last or manage against, you know, five skill purple elite heroes? That is kind of the question. Can you just put your best max ascends? Will they survive? i let you guess. Put a comment. What do you think? Maybe the skills, maybe the, the wrong heroes, but you'd actually be surprised. It didn't do terrible. You know, clearly we're putting like more damage than the defensive line, but still getting hit. But still surviving, we only have one support, which is Park, and she's, well, there's her last shield, Park. She put the shield, and then she got blasted in the face. I'll be damned, she survived because she had a shield too, but Benson's flames just took her out. All right, uh, Coleman and Lund still surviving just because they are so damn, you know, heavy on the gear and the, you know, defense. Being that max ascend, it really helps having like 900 plus uh, agility. And here we go. Still not enough damage. Now Elisa is closing the gap and healing 
Dead Man's team. And let's see, that's going to be it. Elisa just healed herself. It's pretty much almost fully healed. Uh, the troops might have lost a little, but the heroes, they are surviving. And that is that. So as you can see, wow, this is very, very close to the first one. When we used my, my main combat heroes, the Watchers and Rebecca. The only difference is about three kills, in all honesty. And we could look up here in a second. <clears throat> you have to forgive me. I got COVID last week, or actually like three days ago. So I'm still chilling in my office, just living here. As you can see, attack on the left, max ascend, practically the same. The only difference is the defense. All right. So you, the best thing you could do is one defender and four attackers, or one defender, three attackers, and one support. Uh, maybe in the future we'll be able to find a hero who can like survive strong enough and you could use five attackers because who knows maybe the game will change later on the road but right now you're gonna look at your combination of one defender three attackers and one support or one defender and four attackers so yeah a special shout out to all my members. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and join. And then I'll put you on the list for all the videos. Thank you. Bye.